So what are you going to cook for us today? I'm going to dip the scallops oh. with uh, on apple puree with walnut oil and walnut dressing. Ooh. Lovely. Yes. We like that. That'll yeah. go in a flash. You'd better make a large portion. OK. OK, that's good. <laughs> See you in a bit, Jane. Daily basis. But when the pressure was turned up, finalist Jane the Middlemas overcame her knaves, nerves, <laughs> <laughs> and was crowned <laughs> winner. <laughs> A well-deserved winner and very brave and very triumphant celebrity MasterChef winner, Jay Middleton. Middle Miss, I can't speak. I <laughs> join us now. And accidentally, Thank I you. goosed you then. At yes, the same you did. Time. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, hey, but funny enough, <laughs> I never even twitched. I'm so used to it. <laughs> Oh, there's oh, another one. It's all gone <laughs> bonkers. So, were you nervous? I'm really nervous. I'm more nervous now because I've got to do it live and I'm like, oh, what if it goes wrong? Well, you want to get your scallops in first, okay. don't you? Yeah, basically, a little bit of oil in the pan. You want to get the pan nice and hot, just olive oil. What dish are we cooking? I'm cooking the scallops with, uh, it was the starter that I made in the final. Yeah. Uh, scallops on apple puree with uh, apple oh. batons and walnut oil and uh, finish it off with dill and chervil and some walnuts as well, for the texture as well. So, so salted yes. up the scallops. Yeah, you have to season the scallops because that, that is very important to seasoning, obviously. And you want to pop them in. You want, you want the, the pan quite hot as well and you want to hear that sort of like sizzling sound. I think a lot of people are really scared of um, scallops and seafood because you know it's got, I don't know why, I was scared before I went on to do scallops. That's why I quite like attacked it. They don't take very long to cook either. You want them sort of a minute each side. Okay. Very, very short. Well, while they're doing, I just must ask you something. You said that sanctuary for you, a uh, cooking for you is like a sanctuary, which I think is a wonderful word to use. It is. I just absolutely love cooking. I just love it. It's just sort of, um... Do you know what I'm going to ask you to do in a minute? Once they're turned over, yes. I'm going to just show that upstairs. There, you can see them cooking away now. You see, I cook them like this. They, they sit next to each other like that. Yeah. So then they sort of all sit and you can do them. Oh, you've got it on fire phone. Yep. <laughs> when Phil does that, he always goes, no, that's all right, don't worry about that. <laughs> so, uh, so is that's you the plan, is it? Like that. That's the plan for this week. She's going to burn us down. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really leaving, are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to go and get some other life <laughs> <laughs> before I'm arrested. Um, so those scallops, they're lovely. So how long do they take? You keep twiddling them you around. You keep sort of like moving them around and you want them, you want them nice and sort of, you know, firm. And but you, you don't want them overcooked because scallops, will, you, you can ruin them really quickly. So at the end, they're, they're sort of nearly done. And then I butter. stick some butter in there at the last just to minute. finish them off. Yeah. That is really, really fun. Cool. And, and I've got a thing. It is a bowl of water. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, and just to get that top. Wash your hands, yes. Ooh. So they just go nice and sort of brown. It just finishes them off. They're done. And um, what do you call that? The burr uh, noisette or something, isn't is it? Is it? Nut butter. Oh, like yeah, that. your husband's a chef, isn't he? Yeah. That's why he likes ah, it on fire. Oh, he likes it on fire. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't get it very often, but there. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> okay. So that's the scallops done. I've just sat them there to rest. So basically, I'm just going to talk you through the rest of the thing that yes. goes on. You want some apples, chop them up into nice little pieces, stick them in a pan with some um, butter and just like melt them down. You want them quite soft yes. and then stick them in the blender, put them in the blender. You want to add some lemon juice when they've sort of like cooled down. Lemon juice, a little bit of apple juice if it's gone too dry. Blitz it obviously, and you come out with a puree which looks like this. That's okay. the puree, like can you see that? Like baby apple stuff. Like, and then I just stick it in a bottle to put it straight That's in there. That's very chefy. All very chefs have their sauces in a squeezy bottle. In a little bottle. squeezy bottle. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you don't need to do that. Obviously, you can just put it in a thing and spoon it out. But it's if you want a little you can put it in the fridge thing. and everything. It's all sorted. Yeah. Yes, and um, the walnut oil is very simple. It's just 100, 120 ounces, grams, mils. Mills, 120 mils of uh, <laughs> walnut oil and a couple of handfuls of walnuts. Stick in there, blitz it up, and you end up with you end up with a sort of like you know you want to taste it. You want some sort of like um, I sometimes put the apple juice in just to give it an extra sort of taste, and you want salt as well. Yes. You must always always taste the food. 
Um, so it's anyway, well so that's done. a yes, separate tasty, squeezy tasty, thing. My hands yeah. are really but like that's the walnut one. Yeah, so you've got walnut oil, a bit of salt, and a bit of apple juice in there. Did you we say? Don't yes. Have any yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. There's a little cloth down that's there for you. All that's right. left over so from what's three next? weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> all very healthy okay, so that's done basically. And it's then only I've us got, your poison, don't I've got, uh, you're fine. Uh, you've got <laughs> chervil and dill here, which has been like chopped up, and I've got the walnuts chopped up, and uh, little apple batons. It's very easy, the apple batons. You just take a. The chervil flavour, by the way, is that sort of aniseedy? Aniseedy, yeah. And yes. the dill is a similar, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. And it just sort of balances up nicely against mm. the scallops and mm. against the sort of. Because with the apple puree, you want to use a Granny Smith because they're, they're quite sharp and they're quite sort of like a robust apple. You don't want anything that's going to go too dry in the pan. So um, I'm loving it. Good. Yes. <laughs> and so basically, the apple battens are very simple. You just sort of like cut the apple. You want to cut it very sort of thinly. Yeah. And then it's just very simple, just really like tiny little... Can you see that? You see? Ooh, lovely. And that's just at the end. And you just, I just want to get some, I want to get some lemon and some... And you like it with that little bit of green peel on because it's a bit of colour. Yes, and it's very pretty with the scallops. So I'm ready to dress if you're ready to eat. Go you for it. You certainly are. Perfect okay. timing as well, by the so, way. <laughs> yeah, well, they told me how long. Mm. Okay, No one ever listens. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got this here. I'm really sorry, but I haven't got... Right, so this is the apple puree, and you just... I've never done this live. I hope it's going to come in. It'll be fine. So basically, I'm going to just test it here first in case it... Yeah, that's lovely. So it's just a bit... Have a squeeze, one, oh. squeeze, two, squeeze, three. Lovely. Now, in, in sort of like what they taught me is, is that it's always odd numbers on plates. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it sort of like goes... It's like flowers when you're doing flowers. Yeah, so it so looks better. I do, I'm not sure correct. why. It just yes. like, I think uh, aesthetically it looks better. It looks more pleasing. Now, the scallops, they've got a nice way to go up. Is we're ready. If you're ready. Okay. You got so you look there. at which is the prettiest side. Which is and the, put prettiest the prettiest side, side up. up. Yes, yeah, thanks, Phil. Um, wow. What a super starter this is. And actually, another okay. couple of. Okay, what have I got now? Walnut sauce. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. Here we are. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing it okay, now, aren't I'm you? I'm losing it now because I thought, well, I'm doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing really well. Okay, uh, hold on. I've got the little picture. Right, walnut oil, so excuse me. Just a bit of walnut oil around the outside. I've stuck it in here because for ease. Yeah. Oh. Like round the outside. And again, you want these just scattered around nicely. We'll I just put need this, to uh, eat. We'll put this recipe on <gasps> our uh, website. Oh, you've that's missed all right. out these. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Hold on. You see in that... that Mm -hmm. Jane, congratulations and well done. Mm. What's it like? That's stunning. It's so good. It's good? Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Because it's the different flavours that like, balance each mm. other out nicely. We've got to go to a competition, but thank you very, oh, very no, much. No, thank you. Delicate. Here's your chance to win a magic <laughs> prize. Flash, you'd better make a large portion. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> See you in a bit, Jane. We'll put this recipe on <gasps> our uh, website. Oh,